And then our last builder, you're going to be right here. Okay. Okay. Right to the front of you, Will. Very good. And to all of you, uh, welcome to the workshop. I know, it's a little, uh, well, it's a lot. But to us, it is everything. These are my fellow gatherers. You may call me Kembe. Now, I know what you're all thinking. This all looks like a lot of old junk. Well, let me assure you of something. Some of it is new junk as well. <laughs> well, we uh, humbly call ourselves the Gatherers. And it is our purpose to travel the galaxy in search of ancient relics. We look in forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle ravaged planets. And what we find, we bring here to our workshop. So where a stormtrooper might look around and see worthless clutter, but to those who know, they see priceless history. And in these troubled times, preserving our past may just help ensure our future. And assuming that we're all familiar with the legend of Luke Skywalker. Yes. Yes? yes? Yeah, I thought you might be. Well, we hear there is another, a new Jedi. Uh, do we all know her name? Ray. Ray, that's right. And what she has started is the spark of hope that we've all been waiting for. And that's why you're all here, to look ahead and to build this. A lightsaber. A lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. The saber is a reflection of its builder with the force flowing between them both. Today you all feel that connection. But not at all. Let's begin. And we begin with perhaps the most important part of a lightsaber. Any ideas? That's right, the kind of crystal. Able to focus the energy of the force, magnify it. Some say the kind of crystal is the heart of a lightsaber. The color of the crystal determines the color of the lightsaber's blade. And you may all know this from some of the greatest Jedi stories throughout history. The blue crystal, for example, reveals a blue blade like that of Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. His apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and so we hear, Rey. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and of course, Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the one wielded by Mace Windu. Red. By many, it is called the color of power. The crystal of Darth Maul, Sarge Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are stories of the past. We're here for you, our future. It is now time for you to select your kind of crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Everyone, close your eyes. And picture it. Hold it in your mind. Which color calls to you? Which color do you see in your mind? Which color is yours? Open your eyes, everyone, and select your crystal. Control, and it's also the part 
that stops your hands from being disintegrated. So really quite cool. <laughs> the boxes on the left there, you'll find you have your chassis. The next pieces you'll be using are on the right, that's the activation plates. And that will be followed by the grips, emitter, and finally, pommel cap. Building a lightsaber is a personal journey. Just as you chose your kind of crystal, you will now choose the individual elements that will make up your saber. The gatherers are here to assist you. So let's build. Great, so I'm My name is Lindsay. I'm going to be guiding you through your build today. We're going to start with your chassis. So that these lines are facing towards the sky. This is the top of your hilt. Next, we're going to take the Kyber crystal and insert it right here in the middle chamber. Now, I like to take the point of the crystal and put it down on the bottom first. There's a divot there to put the point into. And then I'll push on the top of the crystal to get it to lock into place. So Builders seem to make some completed hilts, uh, some fine work all around. Very nice to 
Uh, excellent work. Now, right here with that classic Jedi design, you can go with that. So, classic Jedi design. Do you have a favorite Jedi? Uh, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. He's a personal favorite of mine. And what color crystal? Uh, green. green. I like that you went with your uh, your own instinct on the crystal shots. I like that. Very strong indeed. And now my friend Landon here, he's gone with the power and control design. Now Landon, that's traditional Jedi. You have traditional Sith. So do you have a favorite of the Sith legends? Who do you like best? Kylo Ren. Very good choice indeed. And uh, with that power and control, what color crystal was it, Landon? You're with the violet crystal. Good choice. We were just saying how that's the crystal of balance, and I think that's uh, an important choice about power and control and help you create, uh, get a more balanced approach. Uh, on the end, uh, what colour crystal without power and control? Uh, red. That's more what I expected. There you go. That's, uh, it's a little more traditional, that red crystal with power and control. Uh, very nicely done. And then also with our elemental nature, I like to go with the uh, Rancor tooth banter leather combination. That really works well. Why did you choose elemental nature? Uh, I like the nature portion of it, and that's the green. I don't like it more. Yeah, the, the green and the elemental nature are perfect props. So, so that, that one's cool. And then down here with our, uh, our ancient design, the protection and defense here. Now, you've actually uh, selected the grid with the ancient text on there. You see that? Now, do you know what this translates as? Do you know what it says? No. No, we have no idea either. <laughs> no idea at all. It looks magnificent, though. That's what counts. Uh, what color crystal? I like that. Nice balance choice for such an ancient design. Well done. Well, builders, as I say, fine work all round. Go ahead and place a hand over your hilt. And feel that connection. Builders, you've all completed your hilts, and nothing unexpected or traumatic has happened. <laughs> I now ask, you leave those hilts where they are, and everyone step back. <laughs> The gatherers are now coming around to place those hilts into the stabilization chamber. Uh, this is to stabilize those high crystals for activation. And builders, this is the tricky part. Those powerful crystals can be volatile if not handled correctly. Uh, so we need to take every precaution to ensure that this stage goes smoothly. We've, uh, we've had mistakes in the past. You can see this from some of the holes in the ceiling. Like, avoid any more if we can. We can now continue on to the next. Wait, what's happening? With many parts you began. Yes. With the heart of the saber they are joined, much more they will become. It's time. Master Yoda. It is indeed time to take our first step. The final stage is upon us. The bond between saber and builder is about to be forged. Are we all ready? Yes, very good. Then builders, on my signal you will come forward. Place a hand on the hilt of your saber and together we will activate. Builders, come forward. Ready. Activate. Good, now go ahead builders. And raise those lightsabers. Builders, you have all built lightsabers, just like the Jedi and Sith who came before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Builders, please deactivate and lower your set. Complete your lightsaber, please. Choose your path, it cannot, but find your way, it can. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. Builders, in your hands you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. <laughs> so uh, to protect your sabers, we are pleased to present you with a saber sheath that you can collect as you leave the workshop. Fortunately, our time together is at an end. But your journeys are just beginning. Time to make your mark on the galaxy. You all, as unique and as extraordinary as the lightsabers you have built today. And who knows, perhaps next time, we may be telling your stories. Till the spire. Till the spire. Thank you, everyone.